Hi friends, my name is Ansha and I am an educator of Unacademy and you can follow me on our website or you can download the Unacademy learning app. So in this lesson we are going to discuss Digital Signature Algorithm DSA. So if you like my lesson, please rate, recommend and review and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hi, so we learned what is digital signature and in this lesson we have digital signature algorithm. Okay, so before we learn the algorithm we need to know what are the two approaches or to digital signature. So we have RSA approach and DSS approach. So this is the RSA approach. So we learned RSA can be used for key exchange, for encryption decryption and for digital signature. So this is how uh, RSA is used for digital signature. Okay. So first we'll take the message, apply to a hash function, then the result will be what? It will be a hash code. Now that hash code will be encrypted using the private key of center. Okay. Then we'll get the output that is the encrypted hash code that plus this message will be appended that is this encrypted hash code will be attached with this message and then this message will be sent to the receiver okay message plus digital signature. Now this encrypted hash code is our digital signature okay now this digital signature is attached with this message and then it is passed to the receiver. It is just like we used uh, when we used uh, hash functions for authentication. It's just like that. Okay. But we'll be definitely we need to use what private key for uh, some unique information about sender. We learned it right. So that information is applied. This private key is applied to the encryption algorithm and then that digital signature is attached to the message and sent to the receiver. Now at the receiver side, he'll take this digital signature and he'll decrypt it using public key of center. Now this was encrypted using private key and it will be decrypting using public key. Okay. Now the result is taken and this message will be taken and applied to the same hash function and the result plus this decrypted digital signature will be sent to a compare function. So if it is equal then uh, it will be yeah the, it is verified and if it is not equal it's not verified okay so this uh, so we learned we need a signing algorithm and we need a verification algorithm so this is the signing algorithm that is producing the digital signature and this is the verification algorithm where we verify the digital signature okay yeah so that's RSA approach to to digital signature and now we have DSS approach that is digital signature standard okay so first you will take the message and apply to a hash function and we'll take the output plus a global public key there will be a global public key and we'll take some random integer k and we'll take the center's private key and apply to a signing function okay so there is a signing function we'll take the output of hash function that is the hash code plus a random integer k and there will be a global public key and there will be center's private key. Okay. Private key is a must. So center's private key is a must because we are producing a signature. So we need some unique information, right? So it's a must. So it will be applied. This hash code will be applied plus a K and a global public key. Okay. Now we'll take the output and this, that will be the digital signature. This signing function will be out giving output which, which is our digital signature which will be attached with this message and sent to the receiver. But uh, what, what is different from RSA approach is we have a digital signature which is a pair of two elements. Okay, so we have a pair S comma R. So that S comma R is the digital signature here. Okay, so we are going to study what is this uh, K, what is this S, what is this R, what is the signing function. We are going to study it, but this is uh, what is the approaches. Okay, so this will be sent to the receiver and at the receiver side, he'll take the message alone and apply it to the hash function and the output will be taken along with S and R and public key of center and the global public key will be applied to the verification function. Okay. So at the center side there is this signing function and at the receiver side the, we have the verification function. So we'll take S, R, this uh, result of hash function then public key of center and global public key. Okay. That will be applied and the result will be taken along with R will be compared. Okay. So this R plus this output of verification algorithm will be taken and compared. Okay. So that is the verification side and that is the signing side. Okay. So that is DSS approach to digital signature. Now uh, 
there is also we have um, ECC, elliptic curve cryptography. We learnt it can be used for digital signature, so that is also something similar to this. There will be this signing function, we will be using global public key, we will be using K, it will be producing a pair of elements and all, so that is very similar to DSS. So this is the digital signature algorithm DSA, okay. So first of all we need to find global public elements. So which are the global public elements? We have P, Q and G. Now first of all what is P? P is a prime number. Now there are constraints on this number. That is it, it, uh, it should be a prime number and it should be a multiple of 64 and the length should be between 5, 12 bits and 1024 1, bits, okay. So that bit length should be between 512 and 1024 bits okay and it should be a multiple of 64 and it should be a prime number okay so there are a lot of constraints on p so that is p and next q q must be a prime divisor of p minus 1 so it simply means it should be a divisor of p minus 1 that is it should be a factor okay it should be a factor of p minus 1 and it should be a prime number also that is why we call it a prime divisor okay it should be a prime number and should be a divisor okay of not p it's p minus 1 okay now its bit length should be uh, 160 bits okay next is g now how to calculate g g equal to h raised to p minus 1 by q mod p. Now what is p? p we chose a prime number here. Now what is q? q is a prime divisor of p minus 1. Now what is h? h is a value that we don't have but h can be a, a random number which is between 1 and p minus 1. Okay. So h is also a number that we choose which should be between 1 and p minus 1. Okay. Now uh, with these global public elements P, Q and G, we can calculate all the keys. Okay, so first we can take a private key. Now private key is also a number which we uh, select randomly. So uh, let it be X. So X is my private key. Now uh, there is only one constraint on X. It can be any number but uh, it should be between 0 and Q. So what is Q? Q is a prime divisor of P minus 1. Okay. So uh, it should be between 0 and Q. Now how to calculate public key? So let public key be what? Y. So X is the private key. Now how to calculate Y? Y is the public key. It should be equal to G raised to X mod P. P we have, X we have, G also we have. So it can be simply calculated. Then, so that's uh, user's private key and user's public key. Now we have what? We have K. That's users per message secret number okay now how to calculate that k so k equal to what it's a random integer word it should be equal it should be between 0 and q just like users private key it can be a, a any number that is between 0 and q okay so that's how you calculate this p q g x y and k now let us see what is this signing function what is this verification function okay so this signing function is taking input global public key then uh, we have k and centers private key and the result of hash function. So it will take all the input and it, it is providing the digital signature which is a pair r comma s. Now let us see how r is calculated and how s is calculated. Okay. Now r is equal to g raised to k mod p mod q. Okay. So g is what we have the values for g and k. So this g will be sent from here k is also an input so it takes g raised to it, it takes that input and it calculate this okay then you will get the value of r and for s first calculate the inverse of k then h of m is what h of m is this okay h of m is the hash code of message okay that is also an input so it, it will also be having then x r okay x into r x is what it's the user's private key so we in gave input center's private key that is x then into r r we calculated in this step then mode q then you'll get what s now this is the digital signature r comma s okay now that is the signing part and the verifying part will be like this so in the verifying part what what we have we have h of m 
then we have s then we have r then we have public key and then we have global public key okay so first we need to calculate a variable w w will be equal to s dash inverse mode q so we are not writing s because we are not sure until this time until verification we are not sure that this is the s we sent from here so we are just writing s dash just uh, for like that's we are not sure about that yet okay so we write s dash or dash like that okay so first uh, you will take s dash inverse mode q then you will get w then you need to find a a will be equal to h of m dash Sim simply it's uh, the output of this hash function okay into w w we found here then mode q that is the value of a then you calculate b that is r dash into w mode q you'll get b then v then you calculate v okay so v will be equal to what g raised to a y raised to b a is this b is this and g we have the value for g then mode p then mode q okay so applying simply applying these equations you will get v now what is test test equal to v test means checking if a v is equal to r dash so v this is v the output will be v and this is what r dash okay so we'll check if this is equal so if it is equal it will be verified if it is not equal it is not verified okay so that's digital signature algorithm it's not that tough it's just uh, a lot of equations okay so uh, the equations are difficult okay it's not difficult it's uh, just a lot to remember okay so that's digital signature algorithm dsa okay so there will be this signing function there will be this verifying function okay then we'll be testing that is uh, we'll be verifying the signature then move on okay thank you